In the industrial alone, it's really all about taking data and brilliant machines and connecting them with people to deliver new outcomes for our customers. Yeah, I'd say a great example is in the rail industry with our transportation business. And you know what most of our customers will tell you is if you can help them unlock one more mile per hour for a locomotive running its daily routes, it's worth up to $200 million a year for you know, that respective customer. And so this is a great example where collecting the data that comes off of one of our machines and thinking about new ways to manage it in order to produce an analytic to help a customer manage their fleet better or run the asset better. Yeah, Pivotal is working with GE to develop industrial internet solutions in a few different areas. This includes Cloud Foundry, in-memory and Hadoop-based technology. All of this helps to bring consumer-grade capabilities directly to the enterprise. Predix is the platform for the industrial internet, and that's part of building the capability around how we take our GE domain experience and expertise and deliver that as analytic outcomes for our customers. The role that Pivotal plays is we're working closely with them as it relates to our big data strategy and taking some of their technologies around their big data suite and augmenting them with our reference architecture and design to establish what we call an industrial data lake. Data warehouses were designed more than 10 years ago, mostly with legacy ERP and CRM systems in mind. And those systems have really not changed much, and they're not suited for the huge growth of industrial scale big data analytics. There's a few reasons for that. They're too slow to collect and ingest operational data, they're also too expensive and too rigid to meet the very needs of data scientists, operations, and the business at large. So to handle the very needs, Pivotal's approach is to build a data lake. Ingest and processing capabilities make it really easy to bring raw data and curate it. You know, our point of view is that the third platform type approach where NoSQL Hadoop style is really applicable to industrial internet type use cases. However, we believe it needs to be augmented with a reference architecture that really ruggedizes it to be applicable in industrial use cases like we have. When you think about collecting full flight data off of an aircraft engine, all the data that comes off of a locomotive, the data that comes off of hospital equipment and CT scanners of the likes, we are working to advance the security attributes of a data lake. We're working to advance the scalability. We're actually working to advance how you disrupt the cost positioning on what it costs to store massive amounts of data at scale. Now, as I've mentioned, we've, we started in focus first on our, with our aviation division, and we've been really excited with some of the results we've seen so far. For starters, we've seen a 2,200 times performance improvement. So processes that we were managing through complex algorithms that would have taken months to compute and process, we've gotten down to 20 minutes. I'd say when you think about business agility, when you go from working around building an analytics in a monthly cycle time, we've gotten those down to seven days where you can ingest new types of data and produce an analytic outcome in seven day cycle time. And then the third is, you know, in the goal of having a 10x impact in the cost of storage and compute, we've actually hit a 12x uh, impact on our first minimally viable product with the industrial data lake. Yeah. 